So here we will explain how you can hide or reveal the part so in order to select the surfaces. For example, we have four parts together. Sometimes we need to select a plane in here which is in contact with these two or also or this one. So what we can do, we have a multiple option here. You can go over here and select this option and you have a uh, different type of uh, selection like cell faces edges if you i play uh, select cell i can click on this one and i can hide it uh, i can go back i mean uh, it's like undo button and also let's do it again for this one after hiding that one i can reverse it like i can hide these three and reveal that one Sometimes you don't want it to go over two steps. You just want to have this part uh, for you. So you select under replace one and then you select it in here. In order to have a better control over your part, you can select this option, go to the part model instance, and you can select your part based on the name they have. You can remove them or you can add them. If you want to, if you want to have all the parts that you designed or model, you can select this option. Sometimes you need to have modify your part based on the elements. So let's go and create elements on the this uh, geometry. And now we might need to remove some elements out of it so we select remove in here we select elements and we remove the required elements like this again we can remove some elements from here and you can see we go back to the this module you can do the same from here by elements pick from viewport and then you can remove the elements that you already picked. You can do the same for faces like this. If I remove it, it doesn't show you anything on here, but if I go to assembly, um, you can see it's been removed. That face was removed from this part. So if I reverse it, you can see only the surface. So in order to have a good control over your part, you can select this option. Also, sometimes you need to have a cross section from your part. You can select this option and just move it a bit in X direction, Y direction. And you can reverse it also as well. The problem is that sometimes you might need to have both of them, but it might be not possible. Also, you can do the rotation one like this. So you have plenty of options based on the, your requirement. You can decide which one you should pick. So in the next, uh, next video, I'm going to explain the I button in here and what we can get from it.